Hey YouTube, welcome back. Tonight we're gonna to be making fried chicken sandwiches. I've always been a huge fan of Chick-fil-A. The only problem is every time I'm really craving it, it just always happens to be Sunday. If you're like me, always craving Chick-fil-A on Sundays, follow along as I show you this simple recipe step-by-step -step that might just be even better than Chick-fil-A. Let's start with marinating our chicken. For our sandwiches, we're gonna be using chicken thighs and our marinade is a simple buttermilk pickle juice combination. First thing we're gonna do is take all of our chicken thighs and place them into a bowl. Then make sure you cover them with buttermilk and then add some pickle juice on top. We're gonna to let these sit for about an hour to an hour and a half. Now it's time to start our buns. For our buns, we're gonna start by taking our lukewarm milk and adding it into a bowl. Then whisking in our sugar to create some kind of food for the yeast. After you let that sit for about five minutes, then we're gonna whisk in our yeast. Now we're gonna add in our flour. And then we're gonna to begin to mix up our dough. We're gonna add a pinch of salt and then add in our egg and egg yolk. Once everything's begun to mix together, we're gonna to add in our butter. It's all gonna be cubed up. We have about three tablespoons. Once it's all come together, you'll form it into a smooth ball like this. Then we're going to coat it in a little bit of oil inside of our bowl and let it rest for about an hour and a half. While it's rising, make sure to cover it with a damp towel. After about an hour or so, the dough will have doubled in size and it'll be ready. Let's make some buns. You'll take your dough out of the bowl and kind of knead it in a little bit of flour. Um, and then you're gonna shape it into a log so it's easier to cut into equal size pieces. You're gonna take a bread knife or some other tool and you're going to cut the log into bun size pieces. To make our buns, you're going to take it, put it in the palm of your hand, and then start pinching the bottom towards the middle and work your way all the way around until it kind of looks like a dumpling once it looks like a dumpling, you'll be able to take it and then kind of roll it smooth on the bottom and you'll have a perfect bun. Once you've formed all your buns, you're going to place them on a baking sheet with some wax paper and you're going to cover them again with that damp towel and let them rise again for about 15 minutes. We're going to be frying with peanut oil tonight, so we're going to pour that into our Dutch oven and let it start heating up. While our oil is heating up, we're going to season our chicken thighs and then bread them. For our seasoning, we're gonna start with some pepper, then add some salt. Then some cayenne pepper. And finish it off with some garlic powder. Once all the seasoning has been added, we're just going to mix it all together. We'll be using potato starch tonight, so we're going to take all those same seasonings and add them here as well. One other trick that I've seen is we're going to take a couple spoonfuls of our buttermilk mixture and add that to our dredge and kind of mix that together. It'll give us some nice crispy pieces um, onto our chicken. Now we're ready to coat our chicken. We're gonna take a thigh out of our buttermilk mixture, set it down into our flour mixture, and then we're gonna make sure it's covered really well. We're going to repeat this process for all of our chicken. You really wanna make sure you've got that total coverage. Let's throw some eggs on these buns. 
After about 15 minutes, um, our bun should be done rising. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some egg and Creole mixture and cover all the buns. These buns look fantastic. Now that they're all covered in egg wash, we're going to put them in the oven at 375 for about 15 to 18 minutes. Let's get ready to drop these chickens. Our oil is now nice and hot. We keep it right between about 375 and 400, and you're gonna fry each piece of chicken for about six to eight minutes. As soon as the chicken is done, you pull it out, put it on a cooling rack, make sure to hit it with some salt so it can stick with the rest of that oil. That is some good looking chicken. The chicken turned out amazing. It's beautifully colored, nice light brown, crunchy on the outside, nice and juicy on the inside. I can't wait to try it. Whew. Those buns look awesome. The buns turned out great. Now let's get ready to assemble our sandwich. It's time to whip up that aioli. Like I said, it was going to be a super simple aioli. All we're going to do here is take some mayonnaise and then mix it with our truff hot sauce. Let's get ready to feast. To assemble our sandwich, we're going to take one of our buns, slice it in half. Then we're going to take some of our aioli and apply a little bit to both sides. And to finish it off, we're going to take a beautiful piece of chicken and place it right in the middle. Listen to that crispy crunch. I promise you it is just as tasty as it sounds. Let me know in the comments below. Did we do better than Chick-fil-A? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this one right here where I show you one of my wife's favorite recipes. It's a one skillet balsamic pork chop recipe that is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.